Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome. My name is Christina Marie from Beauty on My Bee. I do do beauty reviews, tutorials, unboxings, spoilers, and giveaways. What better palette to give away in the month of February than the Natasha Denona Retro Palette? I'm giving away a brand new one for you guys. This is yours. Brand new. Not swatched. Not used. Nothing. Setting that to the side. I'm going to show you mine, which is swatched, and I have done the looks I'm going to show with you in today's video with it, but it's such a pretty palette, perfect for February. Giveaways are really easy. Be subscribed to the channel, watch the video in its entirety. Somewhere in today's video is going to be a secret word that you're going to need to know for today's giveaway. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to do so. We're such a fun, laid-back group here. If you can do me a favor, hit that bell button, mark it to all. And if you are watching on a mobile device, go into your settings. I want you guys to know when I upload. Definitely want you guys to know when I do giveaways because I do them a lot. I try and do a giveaway from each of my unboxings. Just a way for me to give back to say thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. So this is the palette that I do have on my eyes today. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about it, do some swatch, do some looks, let you know my final thoughts and let you know what you need to do to enter the giveaway. So this is a $69 palette. It is on sale right now on the Natasha Denona website for 30% off and it's an introducing in addition to the best-selling mini retro color story in a mid size. I really like these midi sizes. It's the Retro Eyeshadow Palette featuring 15 romantic burgundy and mauve shades including gray, brown, taupe, dusty rose, and vintage pink. I've always loved the Natasha Denona formula. I had one palette, it was just a five pan, that I think was made for like BoxyCharm or Ipsy and it just, it didn't work out for me. But for the rest, I've, all, I've loved their eyeshadows. They last all day. They are so, so pretty. So easy to work with. So let's get in and let's do some swatches. So you know I love duochromes and glitz here is a duochrome. It's a baby pink with a champagne shift. So Andy, this one here is a matte taupe lilac cream powder. I really like her cream to powder formulas. They're so creamy, you guys. This one, it just makes me smile. The center one, it's called Jude. My brother's name's Jude. My grandfather's name's Jude. My father's name's Jude. It's a family name. So it is a metallic warm tote. Mod here is a matte off white with a pink undertone. I like this for the very inner corner of the eyes, for the brow bone, that sort of thing. And the last one in this row is Vivian. It's a light pinky nude cream powder matte. She has one of the best cream to powder finishes in the game. And there is your top row. Groove is what I have in the outer corner of my eyes today. And it's a matte, medium, dark, warm maroon. O part is this one here. It's a matte, dark, taupe, cream powder. Psychedelic, I think, is one of the funnest shades in here. I do have that in the inner corner of my eyes today. It is a warm baby pink with multicolor sparks. It is a great topper shade. You can put a little, let's do that. Let's put a little bit of this right here in the center. So, so pretty. So Go Go here is a medium matte warm rose cream powder. It's just the prettiest rose shade. 
And then a patty right here is a metallic medium nude rose copper. And there's that row for you. Swing is such a cool shade. It is a metallic medium dark cool maroon. Nude mob. I love using this as a base shadow. And then layering the things on top of it. It is a matte medium light neutral nude. Rebellion, the darkest shade in here. It is a mauve medium burgundy cream powder. Hello is this one here. It is a metallic taupe nude. And then Amora is the shade here. It is a matte medium cool vintage rosewood. And then there is your bottom row. Let's get into some of the looks. So I think for today, what I want to do is kind of maybe do like a brownish tone, like these shades, and just show you that it's not all pinks and mauves in here. Just a really easy, everyday look. Let's zoom you in. So I do want to take nude mauve here and kind of use it as a base color and just not all over color. Even though it says it's mauve, there's not a lot of mauve in here. Just kind of all over. So when you start from your lighter shades and move to your darker shades, you're putting down a base and then your darker shades can blend a whole lot easier if you have a lighter shade down first versus having going trying to go from dark to light because then you know that dark shade is not going to want to blend very easily because it's the first shade down. Now I'm going to use Jade here. It's pretty much a satin type shade. And let's put that right above the crease. Going into the crease. Now because it is a satin, it does have a little bit of sparkle in it. And most of the time I would say for mature eyes, do not be putting sparkle up here. My hood space, if you look at my eyes directly, it's so very little that you can see of eyeshadow that I kind of come up a little bit higher. Now let's go into a part and put that in the crease itself and just a little bit above, kind of in that outer corner, do the V, you know the drill. I do want to blend that just a little bit. And I think with my finger, I am just going to go into hello here and do a little tap, tap, tap. I am in a tight line nod on the lower lash. Then I want to smudge that a little bit with Jade. And then I want to buff it all out with a nude mauve down here.
Then I'm gonna go into the very inner corner with mod right here. Do a little bit of that tear duct and lower lash waterline. Okay, let me put some mascara on and I'll be right back. So what do you guys think? Be right back with my next look. So I'm thinking about going for like a pinky look today. Let's check it out. So I am probably going to stay on this half of the palette until this half is a lot cooler toned than kind of the mauves going on over in the, the kind of more brownish tones on this side. I do feel like going into that nude mauve again and let's just lay that as our base. Just all over. And then I think I want to take Andy as my transition shade. Just going to go in the crease and a little bit above it. Then I'm going to take Groove into the crease itself. little bit of that outer corner and then I am going to go in with a rougher 14 same with the groove but just kind of deepen up that outer corner and then I just kind of want to buff that out a little bit with the swing color here I do want to take glitz with my finger all over the lid. Then I want a tight line groove on that lower lash, really concentrating on the outer third. Then I want to put some of that psychedelic right on the inner corner of the lower lash, kind of the upper lash inner corner, and then right on that tear duct. Okay, let me put on some mascara and I'll be right back. So here's the finished look. Be right back with my final thoughts. secret word of the day is retro. What'd you guys think? I really, really liked how this turned, this look turned out particularly. What look was your favorite one? I love change back and, back and forth with you guys. You know, I really do like the Natasha Denona formula. It's one of my favorite. They last all day. It's, it's a really, really good one. It is more of an expensive one, but it, it's really good. It's not chalky. It's not anything like that. So I really, really like it. So what do you guys need to do to win your very own? In the description box down below, so Google form link. Make sure to fill it out, only fill it out once, and make sure to put on a, that your YouTube name so I can make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. And don't forget to put on it that secret word. YouTube is no way affiliated with this. This is me giving back to you to brighten somebody's day. You must be 18 years old or have your parents' permission to enter. Giveaways open internationally. I am the not responsible for duties, taxes, fees, tariffs, customs, lost and transit, damaged, anything extra for it to get to you and make sure that giveaways are legal in your country. Now, if I look at the calendar, I don't really want it ending on March 1st because that's too soon. And then if I have it ending on the 8th, then the video for it to go live will be the 13th. 
and that's in the middle of when my son's here for spring break. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to end it on March 15th and then the video announcing all the winners will be on March 20th. And oh, I forgot to tell you guys about the bonus centers. So there's four ways to get bonus centers. You only fill out the form once, but you can mark on it if you did do the bonus centers. Bonus centers is really easy. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, that handle is beauty, ama, ama, followed by the letter B. If you follow me on X, formerly Twitter, that is beauty, ama, B, followed by the number one. If you follow me on TikTok, it's Christina Marie, beauty on my bee. And if you share this with your family, friends, on your social media accounts, it's just a way to help the channel grow. And I appreciate it so much, so I wanted a way to, to say thank you guys for doing that, because it really means the world to me. And when you do post those on your social media accounts, make sure to tag me. Absolutely love seeing those. So then on the 20th, if everybody's done what they're supposed to be doing, on the forms, bonus entries, I'll take the first name, first initial, the last name, put those in the computer, the computer spins it around, the computer picks, I don't, so don't ask to win. And then as soon as the giveaway is over, I do go ahead and delete all of those forms. Your privacy is very important to me. I don't sell that information, I don't create distribution lists, I don't share it, I don't do anything I like that. It's just an easier way for me to mail out the prizes to you guys. So let me know how your day is going. I can't believe it's February already. I can't believe it. Anyway, let me know how you're doing. I love chatting back and forth with you guys. If you like this video, give it a big like. It really helps out the channel when you do. YouTube will now go ahead and insert another video for you if you have the time. I greatly appreciate you checking out. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And I will see you soon. Good luck in the giveaway. Bye.